Hey guys, just out here with uh, in the shop doing some stripping on the wire. I want to show you guys the Copper Mine Tools wire stripper. Uh, you've seen it in my posts and stuff, so I want to do see if you guys uh, show you guys a little bit about it. See, kind of show you how I use it. Show you how quick it is. Uh, it's pretty quick. So right now, um, what I do is you can kind of see my pile of wire over there. So what I do is I kind of gather a bunch of the same size wire and then I adjust the stripper for that size wire. You can see here there's a few, a few pieces of wire. That one's pretty short. So once I get it set up for one certain wire, um, then I just uh, fire it through there and it goes through pretty quick. And I'm going to run out of battery so we better do this quick. So that's kind of that outer deal. It's got this cutter here which works pretty good. Twists it around, peels that off. Then on there. It is. Peels right off. Kind of got stuck in there for a second. There's a guide that goes here. I don't have it on right now. Um, that's why this guy goofed up this time. That guy, it goes on a lot better. Don't have, don't have any problems. So you get in here. I don't know, can you see? Pop it goes right off. Let's see, that one's, that's just gonna come off. So, you know, when you don't have stuff like that, get that later. This was a thinner piece, so I don't think that got cut. Same color wire, just thinner. Get that out of the way. Most time I just use my lime and pliers. That's a thinner one too. Let me get the, here we go, this is a thicker stuff. Kind of a mess, but hey. So, this stuff has that outer thin jacketing, for whatever reason, and then I just bust it open with my movements, throw them down, do it by hand. For longer pieces, I, I might hook it to something and walk the length of my shop to, to strip it and just kind of whatever goes faster. So, that stuff, kind of, I don't know if you can see it. Can I see it? Yeah, come up here. Uh, you can't see it very good, but uh, maybe you can kind of see it. This is a crappy camera, so anyway. So I just take it, grab it. There it is. Quick. There it is. Uh, this this round, I got 300 pounds of wire, so I'm expecting about 280 pounds um, after I strip it down off the insulation. That's going to work out pretty good. So um, I'll be back. I got to charge this battery, and then I'll show you some of the bigger cable I got. This is two watt. Not sure what that is. Serial wire. Two slash zero, so that's pretty thick. And uh, this stripper, I need to put the other the other blade on it. Okay, it comes with two blades. 
show you guys here. This is the blade for the larger cables because the smaller blade over there has a, a wire guide on it. You can kind of see that. I showed you, you guys in the picture there. You see it's got the, the wire guide that holds that smaller cable in there. It works awesome. I don't know if any other cable stripper has that and how they work, but that works awesome. So then I just throw this one on there and then do the larger cable and this buzzes right through it. So we'll get to that later. So anyway guys, that's uh, I'm out in the shop just uh, stripping some wire. I got uh, copper mine tools stripper again. A close up shot. This is an ancient, uh, was that Milwaukee? Uh, drill my old man had that he hasn't used for years works pretty good. There's all my wire And so far I got the larger stuff stripped you guys saw that in my post um, I did that all by hand um, That was pretty quick. I just set it on the workbench and, and Slice it with a utility knife and it comes off pretty quick so Sometimes uh, so far what I've done I try to sort this stuff like I said get it into similar size cable or the same size cable and then I separate it and then I put it through the stripper and set it for that that size wire so you see here like this is all number 10 I think so that'll that'll work out pretty good that's all the same size so that'll go through this stuff here is a nice long strip you know the longer the strips I guess there's some short strips but the longer the strips, the better, obviously, because you can do it more at once. So that'll be a good strip to send through there. And then just, uh, you know, we got some, some more Big Daddy, Big Daddy stuff. Um, that's some good stuff. So sorry for the camera work here, but that's the good stuff. That's the size of my pinky. That's a pretty big pinky. So uh, we'll send that through. That's about a 15 foot chunk. And that'll go through in about 10 seconds on that stripper. So see if I can upload this sometime soon. It takes me a little bit. I don't have the latest and greatest stuff to do, but that's it for now. That's my little cart. So I don't, don't slip. So I just have this clamped on here so I can remove this. This is my little wire holder. It just kind of guides the wire up off the floor, which worked really good when I had it mounted on my workbench in my garage. And then same thing over here. I screwed two by six onto, this must be a two by 10. And then I just have this clamped on so I can remove it and use my cart for other things. I do, uh, I tear down my computer monitors on this cart because I'm a taller guy and it's nice height. Could be a little taller. My workbench over here is, uh, I think, 42 inches tall. I'm 6'6", so I built it up tall. And that's kind of my messy workbench there. It's kind of ugly right now. You got stuff everywhere. Um, here's some of that larger cable I did last time. Um, I thought about selling that on eBay, but I'm seeing prices aren't that great, or people aren't buying the stranded stuff. They like the solid, like number six solid. I don't know, what do you guys think? Uh, maybe you guys can comment about that or something. I got all kinds of ideas. Maybe um, I thought I saw some rod, some copper rod at my scrap scrapyard. I know him, so I'm wondering if he'll sell me any. That'd be all right. Um, buy it from him and sell it on eBay in a rod. People like to buy that rod stuff or whatever, so I don't know. But hey, uh, we'll do another video later with the larger cable on. We'll show you that, see how it goes through a stripper. See you guys.